Hey everybody! Well, I'm just inside this, uh, the periphery of a Shinto shrine. Really, really beautiful shrine. Not far from my home. The thing that really catches my eye about this place is this beautiful sacred tree right here. Um, I came in here to, to track down a beetle, um, but I want to show you now something, a bit, well, different than a beetle, and uh, very interesting nonetheless, this giant Shimenoa prayer rope. Now, the reason I want to show you this is I want to make it an opportunity to document these. These are becoming rare. This is the actual, um, made from rice straw with the real paper, torn paper elements. And the reason I'm saying that these are becoming rare is that um, I'm seeing these used in more uh, synthetic fabrics, uh, these uh, dark green synthetic fibers in, in, on many shrines. And I want to catch one of these while well, I can still see them around. You know, it used to be that we could see women running around in kimono uh, as a part of their everyday life 20 years ago in Japan, and those women are gone. I want to catch a view of these before these are gone, before the more modern uh, uh, vinyl or plastic ones take their place. Wouldn't that be a shame? Anyway, we're at the front of the shrine. Look at this. Isn't this a magnificent shrine? And uh, in front of shrines and, uh, and home altars and the like, you'll often find these giant or medium size or small size uh, r ropes that are made of a rice straw from the rice harvest, uh, twisted and bound in such a way to create a large uh, structure like this. So let's approach it from the back. We'll take a look back here. Isn't this great? Look at there's the ends of the straw. My wife's uh, uncle does this. He makes these types of things, not this large. He makes them for the family from his own field. You can see it's bound here uh, as well with the actual rope, and it twisted. It's a very calm, it's a rather sophisticated technique. It requires some training. Very few people can actually do it anymore. My father's in law can do it. My, uh, my father, his brother can do it, a few others. These papers here are torn, not cut, and it takes a little bit of skill to do that, or a lot of bit of skill to do that. Look at that, beautiful. It's a lot of rice straw went into the making of this. Let me step back a little bit. I'm getting so close, Kurt. Look how it twists and then twists and then twists and comes to the end. There we go. These are called Shimenoa in Japanese. It's uh, rather hard to get them um, any time of the year other than around New Year's when they're made. Uh, handmade ones are become available at uh, specialty stores and uh, even some. Uh, Home, home supply stores like uh, Home Jumbalencho and stuff. It's like a Japanese Home Depot. You can get them there more often now. Enter the nice spider web. But it's uh, tough to get them throughout the year. When I was in business, I would keep a supply of these on hand to sell throughout the year. <clears throat> no more though. Beautiful, beautiful. Shimenawa rice uh, uh, straw rope above the uh, uh, entryway of a Japan Shinto shrine. Where there are beetles, uh, creatures, birds, and uh, perhaps even more interesting things in the dark recesses behind. Take care everybody, bye bye.